let's talk about how to make a, a spore syringe. You're going to need some sterilized water. This is a, uh, some distilled water or filtered water that I put in a jar and then a pressure cooked for 90 minutes at 15 psi along with other jars of grain and media. I've got some shiitake mushroom caps that I have uh, previously cut the stems off of and I cleaned them, I wiped them down on the cap side with uh, hydrogen peroxide and I've got a napkin soaked in rubbing alcohol so we want to do all this in a sterile process as possible and then I've got a little sample bottle which I also um, wiped down with rubbing alcohol to sterilize it new syringe although it doesn't have to be new it just has to be sterile and uh, you can stir <laughs> you can whoo boy that alcohol is strong you want to be wearing a mask and gloves because you can breathe all kinds of contaminants into your process into into your project here if you're not careful I've got a new uh, well this might be a used needle but it's uh, been soaking in alcohol so I keep my my extra needles in a little sample jar with rubbing alcohol in it so that they kind of stay clean yeah this is new and uh, something to flame sterilize with so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your rubbing alcohol clean the uh, move this out of the way a little bit clean the self sealing port and I'm probably going to wipe that needle down too and you want to fill your syringe with sterile water This is a 20 milliliter syringe, so this is going to be a big spore syringe. Usually I use these for what I call liquid mycelium extract, which uh, is explained in a different video. All right. So then you want to take that sterile water and put it in your sample jar. The entire amount oops and then you want to take your mushroom of choice I'm going to use the bigger one here and for shiitake if you can get them you want to cut the stem out and if you can get them before the veil opens that's ideal but you want to get them where they're still nice and spongy and fresh and just kind of set it so that a, a large portion of gills is hanging over the, the container of water and then put a jar over the top of it and let it sit overnight uh, so the spores can fall and fill the jar up with uh, spores and it's, it's a very effective process the spores drop into the water and then we'll put the cap on, shake it up so that they're mixed good, and then draw it back into the syringe, and I'll show you that tomorrow morning. All right, here we are about 12 hours later. And whenever you're doing mycology processes uh, other than harvesting Whew. <laughs> you want to put out rub your put gloves on rub your hands with alcohol wear a mask and uh, use reasonable sterile procedure so <clears throat> let's see make sure I got all my ducks lined up here okay so we got our syringe Ooh. And I'm going to flame sterilize it, the needle, because this is going to go right into the solution. 
and <coughs> this is rubbing alcohol. I like to keep it in small bottles rather than larger ones. So I, I like to cool off the needle with uh, out rubbing alcohol. Take the jar off here. And by this time, oh, where's the lid? So here's the lid. I'm going to take the cap off, put the lid on real quick. And as you can see, that water's good and cloudy, which means it's full of spores. And we're just going to take the syringe and draw it off. And be careful that you don't draw air into here, just water, because the air can have contaminants in it. And there you have a spore syringe, in this case of shiitake, but you can use this for any kind of mushroom that you want to grow morels, chanterelles, oysters, <clears throat> they all give off spores and they can virtually all be laid on top of a, a little jar or a shot glass. Anything like this where the cap can pretty much completely cover the, the top. And this is a really good way to get a, a good sterile spore syringe. And as I've mentioned before, you want to little label your syringes, just like you label your jars or everything else you do in mycology, so that you know what's in it <coughs> and when you did it. Because these don't last forever. So shiitake. And it's best to keep your syringes in the fridge they will last longer there I don't know this. don't know that it's necessarily a good idea to freeze them but there you go that's how you make a good sterile uh, spore syringe <clears throat> you can improve the quality there's maybe a less than a, I'd say less than a five percent chance that there's contaminants in this I could reduce that down to nearly zero by doing it in front of a laminar flow hood or inside the glove box, but uh, this is, you know, one chance in 20 that, that there's any contaminants in here is good enough for home use because if you screw up a jar of grain then you just throw the syringe out and make another one that only takes an overnight process. Anyway, there you go. That's how you produce a spore syringe.